This is a city that has it all, the seaside and the forestry. Right now though, we're into the badminton men's quarterfinals in the Thomas Cup. It is the second of the men's singles that's coming your way between Thailand and China. China having won their first two matches in straight games. So it is Kun Lahut Vititsai and Li Shi Feng who will try and take this to the distance. Kun Lahut of course having to save Thailand's blushes and try and keep them in this match and have any hope to progress to the semi-final. Li Shi Feng on the other hand has the task of sealing this for China in a clean sweep as we wait for the players to take to the court. It is a battle of the next generation. The two young players for their teams and really been setting the tournament alight so far with their performances. Kunlavut Vititsan has been an absolute revelation in these last couple of weeks both in Finland and in Denmark. The three-time junior world champion. He has certainly made his mark on the senior circuit as well. And he will be playing Li Shi Feng, the youth Olympic gold medalist who is now, of course, doing his part for Team China. Uh, the number two men singles player in this matchup, but he's normally their number three. And the horns come out as Team China know that this is the match that can put them through in the semi final. And Li Shi Feng has been tasked to do just that. It is a one sided head to head. Kunlavut Vititsan leading 5 0. The last time they met was at the Korea Masters in 2019, and Vitesat won that in straight games. And uh, the Thai player has won the toss and opted to receive in the first game. But what a match this is, Ronya Somerville. And uh, really exciting prospect for the future of badminton. Yeah, such, you know up-and-coming players here and I think they've really given China team have given Li Shifeng the chance to kind of show his level and show that he has improved since that 5-0 um, you know head-to-head -head score going into this match so I think it's gonna be a real test for him to prove himself. Kun Lovut Vijitsan has uh, also been supreme in his performances here in Europe so far He's uh, won all three of his uh, group matches at the Thomas Cup, but uh, more importantly, he was delightful in the Sudiman Cup. He beat Chi Chi there, if that is some kind of benchmark among other big name players. 20 years of age, 173 centimeters tall. He's currently ranked 23. His highest ranking is 22, but based on how he's performed here, I'm sure that's going to go even higher. And uh, as I mentioned, he's won all three of his matches, beating Wang Su Wei of Chinese Taipei in straight games, followed up with a win over Jonathan Christie as well in straights, and then ending it with a win over Bel Rabi uh, of Algeria in straight games. Li Shi Feng, he's 21, just a year older 180 centimeters tall he's ranked 65 in the world highest ranking of 48 born in Jiangxi China and uh, these two have certainly met a lot on the junior circuit of that 5 nil headline it's uh, most of those matches I think three of those were on the junior level so they are no they're really familiar with their game Li Shifeng also having a three out of three win in the group stages, Remy Rossi in the first in straight, Robin Messman in Ready the second group stage game in straight, and then Kiran George of India in the third in straight games as well. 
The umpire for today's match is uh, Daniel Wolf of Austria. And joining him in the service judge's seat, there he is, is Christian Jonasson of Denmark. And they'll be officiating this match. So it's a big task and a big responsibility now on Kun Lovell's shoulders because he really has to save Thailand here. It's down 2-0. I know he's a, he is a confident player, he's a big match player, he's, best, he's beaten the best in the world, but to face that kind of pressure, yeah. can he do it? He also has that pressure of being, you know, 5 nil up in his head-to-head -head as well, so... Yeah, I think Alicia Fong might be able to play with a bit more freedom, especially having that 2-0 buffer that his teammates have offered him in the first two matches. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, China, represented by Li Chi Feng. And on my left, Thailand, represented by Kung Lavo Kimitsang. And so the players get ready to get this match going. China to serve. Li Shifeng will serve. Ball. Play. Serve is over. Try Ball. to hit that shuttle hard. Shifeng. Going for the natural there, Richard Sun, but didn't quite get it. from Li Shifang, he's kept pace with Kun Lawut because uh, he had to come forward and deal with that drop shot that Kun Lawut had. Played by Kun Lovett there. Nice reverse on that kill as well. Just got to keep to a minimum to know what we did, son. Just got to find his range fairly quickly in this match. There's so much at stake here for Thailand. But he can't let it get away from him too much. Rally. Oh, fantastic setup by Li Shifang with the drop shot, pulling his opponent forward and then smashing it down hard. So he's taken a 4 2 lead early in this first game and in Four, Thailand two. really have uh, plenty of work to do 
as they look to turn around a record that's really not been in their favor because since I think it's 1976 that was the last time that Thailand was last in the semi final of a Thomas Cup. They haven't done it since. Yeah, it really has been the, the women's in the Uber Cup for Thailand shining through. So it'd be great to see the men's keep up with the, the women's. The best performance, of course, coming even further back in 1961. So, there's a while they have a good tradition in being part of the Thomas Cup tournament and qualifying and getting to the group stages and often to the quarterfinals. It's in the business end of the tournament that they seem to struggle. They don't have that strength in depth. And really, this Thai team has plenty of promise with their men's singles shining bright. And also, the, you know, the men's doubles has certainly shown certain matches that they're up to the challenge. But right now for Kunlavut Vijitsan, it is just about playing it point by point and not letting the occasion get to him too much. Oh, that's impressive from Alicia <laughs> Fong. Huge jump up to that round the head cross court smash. This yeah. guy is definitely going to be one to watch on the world tour in the future. I was just going to say that this is not necessarily the Li Shifeng that Kun Lavut had probably played a few years ago. You know, it's a whole completely different player. And that's what, you know, sparring with the world's best does for your game. Four, and Kun Lavut, of course, comes from Ratchanox Training Academy. So, separate academy to the national team. But obviously, an academy that produces champions, as we see in Ratchanok and now Kunlovut. And champions very young as well. Both of them were champion at, you know, 15 or 16 years old only. Yeah, Kunlovut has the honor of being a triple gold medalist at the Junior World Championships. He did it in 2017, 2018, 2019. And so, you know, he's definitely at that point was earmarked for the future as one to watch. And he's lived up to it. You know, he's given the stop start season. I mean, that's the biggest thing that, you know, one has to remember for athletes, as I'm sure you will be able to well explain that given the stop start season, it's been even harder for these players to maintain some kind of form. Yeah, and it's even just been hard to maintain the motivation because players look forward to the tournament so much. It's that chance to measure themselves, kind of have that test to to push themselves in training for something and then, you know, reevaluate after the tournament. So it, it definitely is a struggle to maintain just such long training blocks over 2020 and 2021 without much to look forward to on the tournament calendar. This is a really good start from Li Shi Feng. 8 5 lead. She's got to keep going. Li Shi Feng thinking about. Jumping it and brushing it. Decided to try and play a net back. Didn't, couldn't pull it off. from Kunlavut with its son. Lovely neck kill there. He played that so confidently as well. I feel like he knew <laughs> that he could just perfectly brush that over before he'd even played it. While jogging off. Yeah. Just like 
that's what I do. This is how we roll. Lovely touches from both players. Ten, Just delicate touches sometimes at the net and even with the drop shots before. But Li Shi Feng doing all the right things right now. 10 7. He's been showing such composure in his matches. Not, the, not just this one, but the previous ones in the group stage as well. I'm sure he's matured a lot as a player since the junior meets that these two have had. So Li Shifeng takes the lead at the break, 11-7 in 10 minutes. A confident showing by the Chinese men's singles player, the 21-year-old. We'll be happy with how things have gone so far. Just been there with a lovely little flick of the wrist, pushing the shuttle down. Players back on court as Li Shifeng will restart this game by serving Play. to Vititsan. Oh. That was fantastic. Great recovery from Li Shifeng there and now Rally's back on. Just too loose off rack off the little box racket there. We should find able to really pounce on it. It looked like Leisha Fan nearly lunged into the splits <laughs> when he went for that deep, deep lunge. So it's 11-8 now for Li Shifeng. 12-7. Because he did win that point. Shot. Off Li Shifeng's racket. And it's oh. <laughs> How did Lee Shifan get that back? The first net roll, wow. That is just 
confident stuff from Li Shifang. To have that ability. Look at that, how tight that was. Oh! Really controlling the points, Li Shifeng. Team China really happy with the way this young player is performing. It's hard to believe that Li Shifeng, before this tournament, last played on the senior tour at the Thailand Masters in 2020. Just the kind of form he's shown through this tournament, that ability, the confidence, you know, one would think he's been playing badminton for, you know, quite some time on tour and building his ability and confidence as a result of that. But yeah, I'm sure he was working hard back at the training centre in China. Of course, has the great sparring partners of, you know, the likes of Shi Qi, Chen Long, Lu Guangzhou, all around him. So they must push each other really hard in training to be able to perform like this after such a long period out from international competition. That's called in. China has challenged that. Is in. So that was the Challenge right call by the line judge, and Li Shifang's challenge is unsuccessful. So that's a point back for Kunlavod Vititsan. Service over. Ten, but even in training for men's singles, if I believe in singles players generally, you can take on one on two or one on three to sort of up your ability and your reaction. Like. So you could even take on your doubles players and, you know, have three men singles players on the other side. So with China's strength and depth, even that is such a benefit. Yeah, and that's commonly what is done to, you know, really push the players that extra bit. I've seen Lee Chong Wai training with four V1. <laughs> The ability of Li Shifeng really shining through here. And, uh, you know, up until now, Kun Lovat Vajitsan had been the one everyone was talking about, his performances in this tournament. But Li Shifeng has certainly, at this point, put that to a rest. A lot of great young guys to watch on tour these days. Of course, Canada's Brian Yang is doing amazingly as well. Yeah, the next generation of uh, men singles, women singles is looking really good. Even the doubles around the world. It's just a, it's a good sign for badminton. Service over, 11, 15. trailing by four points. Some work to do here. Twelve, fifteen. An uncharacteristic mistake from uh, Li Shifang there after a couple of quick net, net exchanges.
this is the never give up spirit that you see from both the players. It's keeping the shuttle in play. Oh, great defense. He's done well here, could love it. Soaking in all the pressure. But on that final time of asking, Lee Shifeng stayed strong. Lee Shifeng really able to put the pressure on, pushing a lot of shuttles there to Kulnovat's backhand corner, getting those short backhand clears in return, giving him the chance to unleash those smashes. 48 shots that rally. It is the longest of the match. There's uh, more young singles players waiting in the ranks for Team China. Wang Hong Yang, of course, who could play if it goes to five matches. And this tie is another up and coming Chinese player. So four points now ahead, Li Shifeng. Oh, again, beautiful net shot, just gliding the shuttle with his backhand. See how much the points are meaning to him because he knows his head to head better than anyone against Vititsan. And this will be one big win if it comes through for Yushifan. 18-12. He's just controlling his opponent so well at the moment. Like Kunlavut is kind of left helpless for most of those shots. Yeah, he is really being very demanding and controlling throughout these rallies, pushing him around the court. And just the quality of his shots. Kunlavut, if there's any poor quality off his racket, he's really able to punish him straight away. So two points away from sealing this first game, Li Shifeng. And that is called out. Kunlavut challenges it. Be a small margin there between in and out. Yeah, just out. So the line judge got it right. One challenge remaining. I don't envy being a line judge. It's such narrow calls to make. So Li Shifang now. 2012 up in this first game, eight game points to put China ahead. So that's going well wide. The cross cross smash from the Chinese. Son having saved one game point has to do it seven times more. Oh, just the amazing net play from Li Shifeng there, and then to back it up, he hits that smash down the line 21 13. But it's really it's been a dominating performance from Li Shifeng in this first game. He has controlled his opponent so well that it's really hard to see Kun Lovut staging a comeback at this moment. He has been absolutely supreme in his performance. 22 minutes, 21-13, Li Shifeng in command in this 
third match between China and Thailand in the quarterfinals of the Thomas Cup. So the players back on court for the second game. Li Shifang having taken a 21-13 lead in this match. The second of the men's singles rubber. The third of this tie between Thailand and China. What can Kun Lava do now as Li Shifang prepares to serve? for the second game. Well, we can see that the rally, they're having good rallies. The first game, despite, despite the scoreline of 21-13, went for 22 minutes. So he is pushing him within the rallies. He's just not coming off on top in the end. I think Lee Shifang's attack is just too good for him at the moment. So he really needs to try and have that pace when he goes to the rear court so that Lee Shifang can't be in such a dominating position from the rear court like he was there. So trying to maybe push a bit flatter, use the net more to try and get his own attack is what Kunlovit could try and work into this game now. It also feels like Li Shifeng has gets quite a lot of time to set those smashes up. I think he's also able to unleash really good attack from a from an under pressure position. That was an impressive hold at the net there from Kun Lovett. That was really nice. Just flicking the racket upwards and lobbing the shuttle. I think with Li Shifeng's height and his agility, he's able to smash when he's a bit out of position and then still be able to follow up. Or as we've seen, Kun Lovett try and do that, and then once Li Shifeng plays that tight block, he's not able to reach it. He's made the right start here, Kun Lovett with his son. Delightful play from Li Shifang. That time with the drop shot. Just he mixes up his play so well. Yeah, we can see, can see Kun Lover that after his smash follow-up, he's not able to play the greatest quality of shot. So he's just opening himself up when he does attack. But also, you know, what, I, what I'm watching Li Shifang play, he's, you know, he has the delicate touches, and then he also then just quickly turns it around into a powerful smash or hit when he needs to, which just is a great level of skill. There's Xi Yuqi back with Team China, knowing he's done his job, he's done his part, and so it seems have his teammates as Li Shifang has taken a game up. But that's more like it from Kun Lava with his son. He's telling the coach, telling Li Shifang to watch the point. I like the gesture there. 
Watch the shuttle. Don't know what else he would be watching. <laughs> I'm watching you, maybe. You know, he's... Testing his athleticism. Lishi Fung is, you know, putting Kunlava to work. Rally going and forcing the error of Li Shifeng's racket. I mean, he was on top of that shuttle, but he just maybe hit it too hard, pushing it outwards. Even though Li Shifeng's in the lead, even these, you know, he's got that game advantage, these small errors that's coming off his racket do seem to, you know, bother him. You can see that it's he's not happy with those points that he's giving away. Whereas Kunlavut has been harder to read, he's been quite neutral and just trying to play his game. Second shot as another backhand. He definitely had time to move around that and take it as an overhead shot. And Alicia Fung just able to really jump on it. He just knew where it was coming. And he was already there. That shot going out as well. And so it's a two point lead for Li Shifeng. It's another nice rally from these two players. It's good recovery. And then Queen of Rajit Sun. Doing well to close it off. And that shuttle went under the net. <laughs> went a bit wild on that last <laughs> drop shot. I think he's getting, yeah, a little bit lost for answers here. He's having these good rallies and then he's not able to back it up with any stability in the next few points. Uh, he really tried to do something there, but Lisha Fong's just too stable. He can, he can just handle whatever's thrown at him right now. And you can also see it's Kunlova cool doing all the running around more, you know, just trying to make the shuttles. 
that just shows the kind of control Li Shifang has on this game. At the end, it's the errors that are costing Kunla Vidit's on this game so far. He worked so hard in these points, but then that final, those final shots are costing him points. The error is creeping up in his game. So, Li Shi Feng now with a five point lead. Beautiful, Kuya. Perfectly was... placed into the corner. It almost did like a little bendy to fall on the inside line. And that's out. So he's Close the gap to three. Well left by Li Shifeng. Um, that means that Li Shifeng takes the 11-7 lead at the break in this second game, the mid-game break. He will be really happy with how things have played out in this second game. It's been the Chinese player who has controlled proceedings. And if Li Shifeng can close out this second half, it will be the end of Thailand's run here at the Thomas Cup. And the fans are in the stadium, enjoying the badminton that is being played. Thomas and Yuba Cup's being played in Denmark for the very first time. As Li Shifeng looks to put China back in the semi-final stage again. And one step closer to retaining that Thomas Cup title. Just, again, a really powerful shot from the Chinese player that Kunla Vititsan failed to return successfully. Reverse kill again by Kunlovut and Misha Fung just slipping a little bit. But uh, China's dominance in this match has been so good that it almost feels like the Thai performance has been kind of subdued. The Thais really have put, given their all, it's just that's how strong Team China's performance has been. Here like that will certainly elevate Li Shifeng in terms of seeing him a lot more on the senior tour and the bigger matches. Uh, you know, in 2019 he was still doing the slightly lower level international challenger tournaments and the Super 100s. But this will certainly help him break through 
the top 50 again and try and get back into those bigger tournaments. And he's not entered in the Denmark Open, French Open or German Open after this, so must just be heading back to China to continue training. Smash from the back court, straight down. 14, it's a four point lead for Li Shi Feng in this second half. He's picked up from where he left off at the restart. That was, again, an easy smash after that lift that Kunla would give. Which is too high, a little bit loose, and then 15. he smashed it down. He's well on top of that. Really, this next few points is do or die for Thailand. the line 11, on the money as they say he was hoping it was going out Li Shi Feng the way he was watching that shuttle <laughs> he should have blown it <laughs> <laughs> that one on the other hand was well out and so Kulnavad Vidhitsan has closed the gap to three. Again, just finding the line. He is not going down without a fight, Kulnavad. He's just staying within reach, keeping the pressure on Lee Shifang, really making him have to win this match. He's not giving it to him. Phone did well to return it and just add the net roll. The lightest of touches, and you know how much that means to Li Shifang. The big point to make sure he stays ahead. Right on the line. You poor leaves from Alicia Fung. A yeah, couple of poor judgments from the Chinese player, but he has enough of a cushion to take that risk, maybe. He's just left it. Wow. He just thinking it would go out again. He left it, but once more. And is this now pressure? Just pulled. 
of trying to close the match off that's uh, led to this poor decision making. 15, 16. Surely he won't leave another one. <laughs> that would be. genius point right there on the floor 16 just look at that oh and back to 16 all back in it there's uh, left points will now cost be costing Li Shifeng a little bit the shuttle what you might say 16 and Stefan really gave him that opening with those few misjudgments. And now Kunlavut has really stayed composed to catch up. This is a big point. <laughs> yeah, both players going for it, but that was Misha Fung's quality. 17, 16. Lee, Lee, can you Such a quick follow up. <laughs> yep. Quick on his feet. Make sure he gets there 16. to kill the point off. So Li Shifang with the narrow lead. Right there. I love that, and he was right to do it this time. He knew he was doing it for a reason, but no, it's on the line. Called in. He did. And he's challenging it. He's challenging it, but I would have challenged that. But he challenged it too late. It was called in. There's a reason he's been watching that shuttle. So it's 17 all. And this time the error on the return means Vititsan has taken the lead. play from Kunlavut to stay in the rally. Oh, that was loose. He did so well to get there, but oh, he'll be so relieved. <laughs> that was the right idea for Li Shifeng, but finding the net. Such a good scramble from Kunlavut. <laughs> Just urging that error from Li Shifeng. Just getting back one more shot, one more shot each time. Li Shifeng feeling the pressure to have to hit a high quality winner and creating that error there. 
And so, Kunlov at Vijitsan, from trailing most of this game, is now 19-17 up, just two points away from pushing for the decider. Can he do it? This just got really interesting for Thailand. They'll be pinning all their hopes on the next two points. He just quietly <laughs> crept back up. Just out of the corner of your eye, you just forgot he was there, and then he's like, boom! <laughs> and about to take this game. And that is... What a turnaround this is from Kunlavut Vititsan. Three game points to push for a third set. And that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. 21-17, Kunlavut Vititsan is back. He has pushed this match into a third game. He really just stayed calm and collected throughout that second game, especially in that second half, to then make that final push and seal it 21-17. What a match this is. Alicia Fung really just losing focus, those four misjudgments, leaving four shuttles that all went in. And then obviously the scoreline pressure just start to, started to get to him at the end with those errors. And Kunlovut really just urging him to have to hit that extra shot each time. Wow, what a catch up. This has been quite the turnaround for Kunlavut Vititsan. After trailing for a lot of that second game, he has come back strong. And he's pushed for the decider, looking to capitalize on a few misjudgments from Li Shifeng. Oh, great cross-court smash. And I think Li Shifeng's really going to come out all guns blazing here. I think he would know that he took his foot off the pedal at the end of that second set and he really let the opportunity slip away from him. So I think he's going to have full focus from the beginning here. Make amends. <laughs> If not, he's going to get a year full from his coach. So Kunlovut really needs to just try and maintain his consistency like he did in the end of that second game. Just keep getting it back, keep making Li Shifeng have to go for another shot, another shot, another shot. Three. And try and keep up with the intensity that he's bringing right now. That's great play from Li Shifang. Kun Lovett's string just going on that last shot. He kept the pressure on his opponent, Li Shifang. And now it's a four love lead. It's off to a flying start here in the third game.
return. Great defensive return from Kunlavut. Maybe he can sub in for the men's doubles. <laughs> with that defense. <laughs> oh, oh, what a shot. Great control. Just guiding that shuttle cross court. Soft and loopy to make it too tight for Lee Shifong to follow up on. The quality in this match has been just supreme from both players. The shot making. Just there. With the lift, and then. There is over. One, four. That was brilliant from Lee Shifang. Just all that power put into that smash across the court. And that's the quality that we saw in the first set. Coming back now. A bit more in the front. A bit more in front. Light it. Light it. A bit more in the front. It's 5 1 now to Lee Shifang in this third game. Kulnavut mm. needs to try and find a way back quickly here. Keep pace with his opponent. Great net roll from Kunlavut with its son. Just delicate touch there. Making Lee Shifan really pause in his movement, unable to get that push off back to the net. And he's going for the same cross spot shot, but this time that was well out and just like that Kim Lovitz clawed a couple of points back and this will certainly add the pressure on Lee Shifang if Kim Lovitz continues to play like this to leave it there. It's pulled Six. out. Three. After quite a few misjudged decisions in the previous game. Li Shifang gets that one right. Great defense from Kunlava. Oh, beautiful. He really is so commanding with those smashes. Lee Shafan doing well too keep that strong attack going in that rally. I think the fatigue is starting to set in. You can see after they had those explosive first few rallies in the third set, the intensity has dropped a little bit. They're back to a more longer rally style. And uh, couldn't have been asking for the band-aid again. Both of them probably grateful for this little interlude. <laughs> Oh, 
，你只要把握好自己，抓到球进攻的时候心态不要过就可以了。啊，然后一分一分一分的，不要有想法，就想着战术怎么去执行就好。啊，累的是他，现在，我还累点了他。跟着走，跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着跟着�gonna gonna 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 g
and it is just so out. So, Luigi Fang takes a 9-4 lead in this third game, two points away from being up ahead at the mid-game break. Question is whether Kunlavut can sneak back in here like he did in that second game. He's just playing with a lot of composure, Kunlavut. Doesn't give anything away. I think he's probably got one of the best poker faces in badminton, but that was delightful. Guiding it cross court there, finding the line. Beautiful. That's a nice rally. As oh, he's challenged that. That was a close call, it was called in, but Kulavut straight put his hand up, feeling quite confident of that. If he's unsuccessful, he will have no challenges left in this game. Which is uh, quite tricky at this stage, but it is in. And so he's no lost both his challenges, Kulavut Bittit San. Serve is over. As the Li Shifeng smash was five. effective to put him ahead 10 5. between these two. It looked like it was going out. That one definitely was. And uh, he's taken an 11-5 lead in this third game. Li Shi Feng. As the third game goes into a mid game break. 17 minutes, it was still quite a long first half of that third game, so 17 minutes is how long it took for Li Shivang to stay ahead. There's a lot of work for Kulnova to do here to make his way back and uh, he's got to find another gear. I know it's a, been a physically challenging game. Eleven five. Play. I've trained at actually both the places that these guys train. So I trained at Ratchnox Academy and the China national team, and they both, you know, training up to like eight hours a day, just insane amount of time on quarter in the gym. Especially in Thailand, I find, found that a lot tougher, I think, just with the humidity. But China, just the depth of the, the players that they have, the quality of the sparring is just such a crazy environment to train in. Well, it's a seven-point gap now. And that's out. So some uh, errors creeping into Kunlavut's game here as the scoreboard keeps ticking up in Li Shifeng's favor. Big fist bump there. Serve is over. 6-13. Yes. 
as the fatigue starts to creep in, that's when you start to see a little bit of, you know, sloppiness in the technique or going for shots at the wrong time just to try and end the rally, hit a winner a bit too soon. Those kind of decisions all, all come into play when matches start to get past an hour. A big yell at the end of that point from Liu Shi Feng. Just hanging on here to his lead. He knows he just has to close this match, and China is done in securing a spot for the semi final. So it's a big chance now for Li Shi Feng to not only secure his first win over Kun Lavud, but put China into the semi-final. 15-6. Great defense from Lee Shifan. Bring all 16. the right moves. Lee Shifan and he's really pumped up. Yeah. He's wanting to scream his way to victory here. And uh, the advice from the coach about Kun Lovett being tired, starting to show. And that's another error of Kun Lovett's record. A nine-point game with Li Shifang well ahead. Kunlovet really is so emotionless in his reactions after the points. It's the best poker face in badminton. Yeah. But those errors now are costing Kunlovet. You can see a slight slump in his shoulders. And he must be certainly watching his opponent get all fired up. 12 point lead. Great defending from Li Shifang. Just look at that reaction. Every single point. Trademark, and he has used it to set up 14 match points in this third and deciding game. Again with the cross court, this time Kunlovu got to it, he returned with a drop 20. shot of his own. With this scoreline gap, Leisha Funk can take has it. Has the buffer to take those chances. Not coming off that time. Still got 13 match points. And with that, Li Xifang <laughs> has secured the win for China. That was a full on Bruce Lee celebration. 21 13, 17 21. 21-7. What a performance at the end there from Li Shifeng. Really changing over the energy there. You could just see him get so much more pumped up in the third set after that lapse in the second. Really took control. Yep, it was a 110 minutes. Sorry, it was a, it was 70 minutes, 110. Even I got too excited. 70 minutes, 1 hour 10 minutes is what I wanted to say. And uh, Li Shifang has put China through to the semi-final in impressive fashion, especially in that third game.
What a performance from the young Chinese player. And what a celebration at the end there. He has done his part and come through for China in this quarterfinal match. China winning 3-0 against Thailand in the quarterfinals. And just, that's the match point. With the big smash at the end there from Li Shifang. And uh, Kun struggling to return there. There's the Bruce Lee celebration. Just a punch in the air. And uh, Li Shifang will be really happy to come through. Not only for China, but secure his first victory over Kun Lavud Vititsan. That is immense. And so with that, China have sealed their place in the semi-finals with a three-game win, three-match win, clean sweep. Shi Yuqi defeating Kantapon Wang Charoan 21-17, 21-14. That was followed by He Jiting and Zhou Hao Dong defeating Supak Junko and Kitty Lupong Kedrin 21-18, 21-10. And finally, Li Shi Feng coming through in three against Kun Lavut. Vitit San 21-13, 21-17, sorry, 21-13, 17-21. 21-7. And uh, China through, as I mentioned, to the semi-finals. The first team to go through and they'll meet the winners of the Korea-Japan matchup that is taking place on court one as we speak. And they will make and continue the tradition of making almost 95% of all semi-finals in the Thomas Cup that they've played in. So coming up in session two is that Southeast Asian battle between Indonesia and Malaysia here on court two with Indonesia looking to do better than their last outing.